श्री अरविंदो मीरा इज माई रिफ्यूज ओं आनंदमयी चैतन्यमयी सत्यमयी परमे नमस्ते वंदे मातरम गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन विल बी ऑन हेवनली साइकिक हेवनली साइकिक इज द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन टुडे इनिशियली वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑन द साइकिक बीइंग इन मेनी डिफरेंट वेज सो दिस इज द psychic we have discussed soul we have discussed the self we have discussed spirit we have discussed spiritual life we have discussed in many many thing ways we have discussed from the different angles today we are going to discuss on this heavenly psychic so this is a brilliant topic the topic normally people must know who are, who are pursuing this spiritual life of course definitely who are in this integral yogic path they must know how it acts and if once the heavenly psychic is um, coming forward it is rising so it is unveiled so what will be the change and uh, it will indicate itself of course the integral purpose and objective of the integral yoga supramental yoga yadism also how sri aurobindo has seen it so we'll see The human grow in the bowed ape-like man. He stood erect, a god-like form and a force. With the how it became possible, it was it is only with the awakening of the psychic being. So psychic being and the soul almost to is so psychic. It is almost the same same thing. Soul when it is in the it is developing after the development and in the developing being developed it becomes the psychic being so psychic being it is there it is progressive it is dynamic it takes growth it is the purpose of the psychic being is to gain experience and develop and uh, progress and develop so with the awakening of this this psychic psychic being with the in uh, aid of this inner light with when the inner mind is getting sufficient light from our larger self when we are going up then what happens the human grow in the bowed ape like man he stood erect a god like form and force and the soul stood looked out from earth born eyes then what happens man stood erect he or the thinkers bro beautiful things your wind has quoted then what happens he looked at heaven and saw his comrade stars with the awakening of savitri awakening of the psychic being when we are aware of the when the psychic is coming out little bit when we are looking able to look forward um, behind our topaz walls behind the cryptic walls when the veil is lifted then that will there comes the change he looked at heaven and saw his comrade stars a vision came of beauty and greater birth slowly emerging from the heart chapel of light and moved in a white lucent air of dreams so once a dream or imagination what was there initially it is actually coming it is changing we are seeing the vision of beauty and the greater birth he saw his beings on world vastnesses vastnesses and on world it is there it is possible it is coming with the development and em- emergence of the psychic thing when it is coming forward he aspired and has housed the nascent demigod the, he how aspired and also housed the nascent god the demigod out of his dim recesses of the self the occult seeker into the open came that is the purpose he was there the occult seeker into the open came he was the seeker in the occult in the occult position he was there the occult in the occult position of course he was there he is coming to the open open into came he into the open he came he heard the far and touched the intangible heard the far we are unable to because our limitation we have got our outer cells outer senses everything has got its limited limitation he heard the far and touched the intangible he gazed into the future and unseen the future that is unseen future we have not seen of course but in this future it totally it is a differently designed and a different see we can see it is a very fast very further and unseen not at seen he used the parts arts instruments cannot use just imagine this is the comparison between the arts instruments and the occult seeker a past time made of the impossible he cut up fragments of the omniscient thought fragments of the omniscient thought he cut up 
he scattered the formulas of omnipotence omnipotence omniscient already know that these are the symbolical these are the definitions these are the um, we are defining god in that way omniscient omnipotent and omnipresent like this but here he cut up the fragments of the omniscient thought omniscient thought he cut up of course in fragments he scattered the formulas of the omnipotence thus man is in his little house made of earth dust grew towards an unseen heaven of thought and dream he was made of the earthly dust his stock was everything was earthly in the within this earthly material everything was formed everything was created but now he grew towards an unseen heaven of thought and dreams looking into the vast vistas of his mind mind so we have got different layers of mind surface mind then higher spiritual mind spiritual mind in spiritual mind we have seen the layer the hierarchy the ladders the two steps like um, um, higher mind illumined mind intuitive mind over mind then comes super mind so looking into the past vistas of his mind so this mind is not all because this is only the base from where with the great rise of consciousness we are moving up to the vistas of his mind it, it is the main mental activities concerns are getting elevated into the different layers of the higher minds on a small globe dotting infinity it is not confined to the limitation or finiteness it is dotting small globe he is dotting infinity at last climbing a long and narrow stair this climb will be not a very very small thing it is of course a long and narrow but stair is narrow he stood alone on the high roof of things through that the long and narrow stair he is running up he is spinning up he is ascending up to and at last he stood alone alone because nobody will be there they don't have the idea you have to go you have to go alone with the aid and assistance of this divine power and mostly from the already we have seen the power comes from the indwelling god's power is there it is coming and aiding and saw the light of a spiritual sun the entire sun every day we see here so it is there but the saw the light of a spiritual sun spiritual lit lit by the spiritual sun in the indwelling god in the body made beautiful by the indwelling sun indwelling gods this spiritual sun he transcend aspiring he transcends his um, or earthly self aspiring the spiritual he saw the light of the spiritual sun then aspiring that aspiration will be there it is a continuous process aspiration as long as we are as getting as we are aspiring intensely then we will be getting the experiences with the repeated experience of the repeated experiences we are gaining then will come the change aspiration is the main cause of this experience and from this experience with there will come the with the repeated experience will come the change aspiring he transcends here in the course he transcends as with the aspiration aspiring he transcends his earthly self he stands in the largeness of his soul soul newborn the soul newborn means it is there inside it was in the getting dwell dwelling inside us it was hidden it was concealed so his soul is now newborn coming out it this it is sparkling it is providing sparks it is acting from the veil now it has to come to the fore it has to come down into the fore the crowded common room because initially it, it brought it has to <laughs> rule over the mind life and body now it is now passive indwelling god like indwelling god it is concealed it is passive but it has to come out it has to express itself it has to prove itself and for the purpose for which it came it has to it has to manage it it has to do deputed selves of the infinite he has come redeemed from encirclement by mortal things and the moves in a pure free spiritual realm initially we have sun a light of the spiritual sun is seen now moves in a free a pure free spiritual realm that is a pure free and spiritual realm where it is moving as in the rare breath of a stratosphere at la a last end of far lines of divinity it is moving it is exploring because there is no limitation and the soul which was already confined inside us it is coming forward it is looking pop it is um, getting the aid it it proves itself it's at last um, at a last end of far lines of divinity the rare breath of a stratosphere free spiritual sun here in the has used brilliant lines here he mounts by a frail thread to his high source 
his high, high source it is not the home where he has built in this um, local arena in this mortal arena in this worldly hemisphere is a um, frail thread through a frail thread to his higher high source he mounts up he reaches his founds of fount of eternity just imagine with a frail thread thread that is frail because he has to move up if he is staying he is somewhere settled then naturally it is a frail it has to break down it and he has to go to the pit so he knows he is well aware, he is better conscious, he at least with this prior thread, prior thread to his high source he rebounds and reaches his fount of immortality. There is the fount of immortality, it is there he reaches. He calls the Godhead into his mortal life, his mortal life it will be governed by the Godhead, so it is called, he calls the Godhead. At the all this the spirit unconcealed had done in her the spirit what was it was concealed and it was concealing everything it is it will be done in her a portion of the mighty mother came into her as into his own human part though then everything is coming external aid external light external creation external push external inspiration things are changing into her as into his human part so what happened amid the cosmic workings of the gods it marked her the center of a wide drawn scheme marked the center of a wide drawn scheme nothing confined nothing limited dreamed in the person of her passing spirit to mood humanity into god's own shape and leads this great blind struggling world to light or a new world discover you create so with this a new this world to be discovered or to be created so for this into this struggling world light is coming force is coming god's own shape is there so to move the humanity into god's own shape and lead the great blind struggling world to for light or a new world for new struggling world to light mood humanity into god's new shape dreamed person of her fire seeing spirit it is the impression of the spirit he is seeing and it has to be created a new world to be created and or discovered so if it is coming out for this chance, change, transcendence, for this transformation, for this perfection, what is there? Sri Aurobindo course is integral ego, yoga, yoga in couple of lines here. Earth must transform herself and equal heaven. This transformation means this form will go to the new form will appear. The example we give sometimes the caterpillar turns to the um, butterfly, that example. But in integral yoga, and sometimes also science gives the example, these trees got um, drowned in, um, buried in under the earth, after some time it get, got um, changed into coal, then diamond of course, this is the permanent change. This is the transform stage. But here we know the mind, in our integral yoga, the, trans yoga, the transformation is meant the mind of light will be transformed into the mind of light. So here the second time, here in the course you are brilliantly about this transformation. Earth must transform herself and equal heaven. Equal heaven, not in the intermediary or medial world position. Or if it is not possible, then heaven descend into earth's mortal state. If it is not up, it is unable, incapable of transforming herself into heaven, uh, equal heaven, then heaven descend into earth's mortal state. So you will feel, feel somebody may feel it is almost next to impossible, but Sri Aurobindo speaks, it is quite possible. But for such vast spiritual change, you see this here in the course, this is all a vast spiritual change only. Spiritual sun, spiritual light, spiritual life, so many things have been quoted in this discussion. It is also another thing, spiritual change, vast spiritual change to be. Out of the mystic cavern in the in man's heart, here also it is there, it is with us, no, nowhere we have to go. So who, is, who will do it? The heavenly psychic must put up her veil. Now he is putting on in the veil, it, he has to put up the heavenly psyche must put off her veil and step into common nature's crowded rooms not to be confined not to stay on the beyond step into common nature's crowded rooms and stand uncovered in that nature's front uncovered second next condition is uncovered in nature's front and rule its thoughts and feel the body and the life so rule its thoughts and feel the body and the life so obedient to a high command he sat time life and death were passing incidents one day matram